Well, well, well. This next thing that Blender has to offer is something very, very awesome. So before starting, let me go into Add and Mesh, and you get these extra objects. For those who are new to this thing, what you need to do is go to Edit, go to Preferences, and in the Preferences window, you will get. Let me open the Preferences window. This is the Preferences window, and in this, go to Add-on section, and here. you need to search for extra extra and add mesh extra object tick this thing you will get that awesome and wonderful objects so let me go to blender once again here i will come to first of all we will delete the default cube we will go to add we will go to mesh and then i will come towards round cube i have covered single vertex in this i have covered both of these you can go on my channel and uh, search for that rock generator that also has been covered and all this uh, objects has been covered today's object is round cube go to mesh go to rounded cube and go in this sub menu here in the operator presets we will get some more options like capsule like clay bar like cube of course i don't know why they kept cube as an option grid 3d octahedron quad sphere and rounded cube what you can do other options are you can increase or decrease the scale in the x axis in the y axis and in the z axis as well okay and with that let me zoom in a little bit here and go to the wire frame and let me increase the y axis and z axis so that i can show you what is happening over here so here the arc has eight divisions so if we increase this the arc divisions are going to be increased this value defines the number of lines that you want on the curvature and this thing before doing anything with this it feels like it is doing nothing so for this to activate let me go from type corners to edges as well what it does that it adds extra edges to the corners so now if i go from values we can increase and decrease this thing and from edges if you go to all it is going to completely angle fit edges and you can increase and decrease this thing for edges and for arcs as well okay so what i will do i will keep it only up to corners and uh, i will reduce this thing to show you the next awesome thing so our next option is world if you want to align it according to world the next option is view you can align it according to our view from where we are seeing the object from or you can align it according to the 3d cursor and for those who don't know what 3d cursor is this red and white dotted circle is called 3d cursor and then you can change its location in the x y and z axis you can change its rotation in x axis y axis and z axis if you want to change and also there is a radius given which you can increase or decrease to get the right amount of rounded edge you want in your object so with that being said and done hit the like button if you like this video hit the subscribe button and if you want to support me wholeheartedly you can go on the patreon page links will be given in the description and also if you want to support me financially personally you can go you can support me financially using the google pay or phone pay or paytm phone numbers will be given in the description as well and with that being said and done try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video